Welcome back to Cynical Gaming. Rated J here as always, and today we're going to be playing more of this. So expect my throat to end up hurting because some of these people sound really stupid, and I gave the voices, so it's my own fault. But yes, we're going to be playing more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We're on the fifth case that still keeps kicking my ass. And, uh, Let's get on with it, shall we? Oh, I... Yeah, it's this one. We're in the middle of the investigation day on day two. And, uh, all that nifty jazz. So, we're gonna pick up right where we left off. And I believe we were talking to Detective Gumshoe. So... Woohoo! Let's do this, okay? Okay. And loading content. No, oh, there he is! Chuck all away, buddy. I do believe we have to examine stuff now. Not entirely sure what, but there's something sticking out of here. Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence from some case, because, yes, Emma, those are all evidence lockers. Yeah, uh, twit. But hi, baby. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, stream, yeah. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this there. Uh, there you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet that evidence locker was open recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot too! Uh, I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat either. If you're going to talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of them, pal. Poor Detective Gumsh. Oh, we got to check every goddamn locker? Why? How about we check the one with the freaking blood, bloody handprint on it? What? What's this? Blood. Dun dun dun. It's a little warm, but there's definitely a handprint here. It looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright! What if there are other blood stains left in the room? We should use her testing fluid to check it out. I guess. Let's, let's spray everything. Look, I want to use it, damn it. I'm a sky. Okay, yeah, we, we don't need to read that. We know where we got that from. But how how do how do we use it? How how do we how do how do I I want options? <laughs> like can I can I split spray? God damn it! Let me present it. I mean, uh, maybe. It says I want it. It, it. She said I could use it, but she's not letting me. God damn it. Present. There we go. Allow me to say one thing, speaking as a detective. If I see a piece of evidence I know nothing about, I say nothing. Nothing. That's fine, big man. Calm down. Okay, I don't need you beating my ass in an evidence room, okay? We don't need another crime going down. No, you bet it's fine, pal. I... I don't like him. It just... Just... just you know what? We're just, gonna, we're just gonna examine more. Like, like this one, the one that's open. Why not? Look, this one's open, and the red indicator light above the door is lit. 
That locker is coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker? Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Oh, well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. It's empty. They must have taken the contents elsewhere. <laughs> but how do I go ahead and, and use the stuff? Like, you don't already said... Detective Blogger, Prince can unlock. Okay. Either way, uh, let's just finish this stuff up and move on, hopefully. Hopefully we can. Someone left a glove here, but only one. And it must be Michael's. Detective Gumshoe, maybe. There you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. Where was the voice I gave you? Uh, it's evidence from the case, you know. You mean SL9? It does have a tag on it. Tagged evidence from the SL9 incident. Extremely thin rubber glove. Wasn't uh her sister wearing rubber gloves too? Or surgical gloves? Wow! Someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces! Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of hooligan. That's apparently from the case. The case? The SL9 incident, pal. See the sticker on the one of the pieces there? Another piece of SL9 evidence. Yeah, let's take a closer look. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You want to try to put it back together? Huh, good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Well, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give it... Why is it still on the floor then, man? You couldn't sweep it up? That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Oh, great. We got to do a puzzle. Um, combined. Wait, I can't... Oh, great. Cool. No, that looked right. Ooh. That looks like a top piece. Uh, that looks like a top. No? Oh, this is going to take forever. <clears throat> Why can't I rotate that? No, we're just going to we're just going to run through. See what pieces are No, that doesn't look like that would fit. And go from there. I'm sorry, I'm incapable. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wait, no. There, no. Why? Uh, does that look... Uh, that looked like it would work. It did look like it would... Not that piece. All the buttons turn the damn thing now. Ooh. 
No, that's gotta be more of the top. That has to go with this. So it has to be like this. No? I am sorry, I am slow. <laughs> <sighs> I was never good at puzzles growing up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just d two for two. Oh, my God, I think he's getting it. Maybe not. I gave my self too, too much credit there. Oh god! There we go. I, I can't fuck this piece up. Right? There's still a big old chunk of it. Missing. Uh... Well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far too in two minutes myself. The problem is finishing it. I got, I, he's... Oh, well, there you go. You're getting it now. But, thanks! I got it! <laughs> but apparently, Detective Gumshoe was a lot smarter than me. Where some pieces were stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Still, it doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I kind of understand how it got broken. And that dog is barking in the background. Jar pieced it back together from fragments found at the crime scene. A piece is missing. Okay. Do we exam. Okay. If we put these pieces together, it makes a jar. There are two things that bother me. One, why are some of the pieces missing? Two, doesn't it seem a little unstable? No wonder it broke. I'll make sure to remember that next time I make a jar. Okay. Um. Got that. And the paint. What is a saw and paint doing here? Since the dawn of time, true art has always been a war against oppression. True art? I noticed that there's blue and yellow paint here. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the blue badger. Well, you might say this is my studio. Here in the evidence room. Somehow I don't think that's a good place to be painting things, but... Whatever. Oh, do we really have to check this stuff? This place is stuffed with evidence. Stuffed with dreams. I'm not so sure about the dreams. Hmm. It won't open. Did you really think it would? Hey, pal. Our security is high tech around here. Okay, thank God. else that we might have to check what are you oh no we we did this uh, we don't we don't really need to do that and slide away but I'm pretty sure we got to use that bottle but I don't exactly know how to use the damn damn bottle Wow look at this big pile of junk in the corner it looks like a car door there's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. 
maybe the guy they caught was some sort of escape artist and he got away. Hey, that's one of those human profile... profiles for range testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better him than us! I mean, I guess. Some sort of bulky equipment is gathering dust here. What a sorry looking fishing pole that is! Ah, uh, that's my personal pole. I never did get around to using it. Wait, I've seen that somewhere before. Right, pal, that's the metal detector. The one that led to solving of the case at on Guard Lake, remember? All right, wow, that feels like it was ages ago. And, um, I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that, that's a bug, bug sweeper. Yeah, fine, whatever. I'm sure it will come in handy in solving some case sooner or later. A cheapo looking box? You can't judge a person or a machine by the cover. You gotta look at their heart. Okay, we're looking at the heart. Let's double check over here. And make sure that we didn't miss anything in the investigation. Uh. Okay, we're done with that. I really do think we need to... To use that. But it's not... It's really not giving me the option to. So... Spray! Spray! God, I didn't... Mm. Oh! Okay, let's slide over. This should glow because, yeah. Oh, shit. That's a lot more blood than was around... Yeah, that's a lot more blood than there was at the other crime scene. That must have been one massive pool of blood. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Huh. Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective Goodman? Was actually an alien? No, no he wasn't. This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make a note of it in the floor plans. Hey pal, if you don't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. Boy. Alright, let's see this. I knew it! This is someone's right hand print. What? What's the matter, detective? The, this is locker. It's mine. It's yours. Please. You have to help me. Oh, when they come to take me away. Promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm or fly. Aww. He's so scared. <laughs> you'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jot it down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you, you can't trust the police. You are the police, man! Why? But you're a detective! Oh, God. If you can't, tr if the cop is telling you you can't trust the police, then maybe you really can't. Oh, God. <clears throat> Let's examine this and see what we get. What? Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled out the door. This just might be something significant. 
Hey! That's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What? This? It's called Luminol. Testing fluid. Where do you get your hands on that? Um... I'd like to get some, too. I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where did you get this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. Oh, well, I'd better jot this down on the floor plans. That's gonna help us save this case, hopefully. Anything on the door? It's not that around the door if he ran. But I I just wanna just in case just spray everything, see if something comes up. Nothing else on the floor or over near the paint cans. And anything on these. Alright, I think we're good with that. Put the prints together. Not entirely sure we could put the prints together. Because it's on the it's on the floor plan now. But we can see something. Let me Wow, I don't think we could do anything else here. Huh. Uh Maybe we move? Everything that needed to be examined has, I believe, has been examined. So... And if he's... Maybe we present, um... The floor plans to him. Allow me to say... Hmm. He has nothing else to say about the, uh, the blood stains and whatnot. Yeah. There's definitely blood spatter. Hey, look, they're hard to make out, but there are some dark red stains here. Hmm, it looks like blood. Do you think Detective Gumshoe's blood somehow got on this when he was stabbed? Not likely. This blood looks like it's been here for months, maybe longer. This jar was evidence in the SL9 incident. You think I would clean that stuff off? That might be when the blood got on it. Okay. There's nothing else really suspicious about it. Huh? This thing doesn't have a bottom. That's weird. I wonder which side is up. Better yet, what's the purpose of the bottomless jar? At least it doesn't collect dust inside, right? I... I guess not. <laughs> but, yeah, we looked at that. Maybe we could examine this. <clears throat> the tag says SL911. I guess this is another piece of evidence from that case. You know, I never did care for that word tag. It's confusing. Huh? What's so confusing about that? Do you know how many other words sound like it? Bag, gag, nag, lag, whatever. Is that, is that a word? Do you challenge me? What, are we playing a word game now? No, oh, okay, let's... This, there's really nothing special about this club. Okay, well... Um... That is everything we found here. And he's not saying anything else. You can't open the lockers if your fingerprint doesn't match. If you could open it, they'll give you 50 cents. 
No, the police department lacks a faith in its lock system. After all, Detective Goodman was stabbed here after opening his locker. But at the same time, he was found dead over at the prosecutor's office. Can you spray the vase? Uh, it doesn't give me a option to combine the two things. But... You, you kind of would think... Huh. Yeah. But either way, um... There's nothing else we could talk to him about. But, let's move along to the guard station and see what we could do there. We talk to him, maybe present the vase and uh, glove and stuff. Alright, sheriffs back in the Wild West didn't place much faith in evidence. About the only thing they trusted was their shooting hand. Um, this is neither wild nor west here. Aha, uh -huh, but that and this are two different things entirely. Ah, uh, guess so? Um, uh, lost. Oh god. Looks like we need some evidence to get anywhere with this guy. Ah, uh, sheriff's back in a while. Uh, whatever, whatever. Um, this. Okay, you don't take his job, fucking. Do you have a locker? No. Ugh. Let me check that. First mile. Maybe we have to go to Edgeworth. Because we did find that talking to, um, I believe, uh, Detective Gumshoe. So, we'll go over there. Well, yeah. Get the hell out of here first. And go back here. Where are we gonna run into her? And high prosecutor's office. And nothing. Nothing! Sons of bitch. But yeah! Woohoo! The tension set. Oh, fucking hell. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like him. Let's see if he gives us anything, though. Officer Meekins, could you take a look at this? I, I'm sorry, sir. Re really sorry, but I, I have no idea what this is. Of course he doesn't. He's passing the buck, Mr. Wright. It takes a special kind of man to pass the buck to Edgeworth. Uh, he was in the the room, right? Yeah, and he's gonna be fucking useless too. Just like everybody else in this damn... Maybe we could show it to the one chick. Hey, yo, uh, can you look at something? You know what this is, right? Uh, yeah, she wants to give me tea for some reason. My vote, it's him. Wait, wait, it's who? Who, who, who do you think done did it? Yeah, no. Ugh. Come on. She ain't gonna know anything about anything. I, I guess. Uh, let's pop over back here. Nope. She ain't gonna say anything different. The dumb cop. Do you think I have to talk to him again? Or show him something? Because that got me nowhere. Oh, God. Wait, this thing died, and there's more paint on it. He brings me flashbacks on that movie, Scarface. <laughs> How? The Bobadger is still withering around a day. 
Oh, God. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's dancing. Speaking of dancing, the whole police department has been dancing around like crazy since yesterday. Can I take out his batteries? I, I just can't help but feel he's going to do something naughty. Well, jeez. What about these two guys? Looks like the patrolman is saluting the other detective. Answer me. How many figures do you see? I, I'm sorry. I don't know. Well, that's 20 for the left, but any, but nowhere near that for the right. Get glass. Oh, God. That was a slow. It was an eye test. They make a good pair. Okay. Now back to detective. The criminal affairs. Uh, nothing. Uh, we already talked to him. <sighs> Police department. Guard station. There has to be something that we have to do with Gumshoe. He was the last person that we came to the last time. Is it Scarface? The, the funny movie that makes fun of Scarface. About horror, but... Uh, let me look it up. <laughs> Go look it up, baby. <sighs> it has to be something. There has to be something we overlooked or didn't present right or what, but... What that is, I don't know at the moment. So... Oh, God. <laughs> It uh, it, it's not it's not it's not doing good. It's not doing good at all. So yeah, um, mm. well, what's up, Dragon? How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Oh God, not entirely sure. I am completely stumped right now, and I'm not entirely sure how to go about doing anything with this case. <laughs> but that's he, I mean to say, yeah, this is everything he keep has been saying, but uh, could you take it? Okay. Thank God. This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Uh, I heard the rumors. Oh, nice. Is uh, she going to be going uh, live again? or Because I'll jump in over there when I'm done streaming here. So, it was Goodman who came in here the day that... What? What, what is it? The, 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 the second number. It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Mr. Edgeworth. What? The second number is this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. It'll be starting soon. Okay, cool. What? Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? We already knew this. We had Miles Edgeworth already. So. Oh, oh god damn it. Sorry about that. I'll just get through this real quick. A scary movie. It was a scary movie. Nice. Uh, yeah, no. I don't. Oh, I know who you're talking about. It was like Officer Doofus or something, or Doofy. That you're, uh, that you're talking about. Yeah, okay. But, uh, everybody who's out there lurking, welcome to the stream. Uh, thank you for joining us. I'm glad to have you here to see how damn confused I'm going to be. It still am. You know the dumb cop that was really a killer? Yeah. Officer Do Doofus or Doofy or something. Now, um, since, since we triggered, um, since we triggered that, do we go and try to talk to Miles Edgeworth? Or... Or what? Like, 
I'm not entirely sure because I think we triggered that the last time we played. And we found out the second number was Miles Edgeworth. But who else would we have to show that to? Because there's really no one that we're going to be talking to that we haven't already. And this is the last room that we've been in and we've pretty much did everything that we could. We even used the spray bottle. But there's just there's just nothing else. This this confuses the living hell out of me. You have forgot yesterday my stream. Oh, you did stream yes. I am so sorry. <laughs> I uh I'll definitely come drop by in the next one. For sure. I was just like super busy and then I ended up streaming last night as well, so Oh, that's uh, I man, I missed your stream. I'm sorry. I really am. Definitely got to keep you in mind next time you go on. Uh, you don't say nothing to me at all. This guy just does not like me. But we already got him. To, what the hell is it that we're missing? Ugh. And we examined everything around here that is at least... You sure have a lot of monitors. There's eight cameras in the evidence room on all... Well, one of each station. Which monitor shows the station where the crime took place? Why do cattle sit before the rains come? It's not for a man to know. Unless you're the security guard responsible. I mean, that would be great if we could get the video of what happened. Then that would be able to prove. But 10 to 1 in a case like this, it would probably already be erased. Ugh, this guy. The cactus sure looks prickly. Best keep y'all distance, Billy. Then you are liable to get hurt. Billy, uh, the cactus has a name? Billy, you're wearing your cowboy hat on your hand. Oh, my raw hide cow skin 10 gallon hat. I just picked that up, but Billy looks fancy in it. Looks like it got stuck in one of the spines and he couldn't get it off. Anyway. Anyway. It's, uh. Oh, Jen, where do you think we need to do? <laughs> because I am super stuck. Any advice would be wonderful. <laughs> we got this, but where the hell is the missing piece? I wonder if... No, that's not talk. That kind of made me happy for a second, but I lied to myself. Could you take a look at this? You, yes, you said you wanted something. Yeah, yeah. This boy, where the hell is he? Work desk. It's a nice desk, easy to use, and easy on the eyes. Yes, it's everything you said the last time uh, okay 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 I can't find Edgeworth Edgeworth's nowhere to be around so we can't question why he was there the day of the murder so <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work the hell out And this idiot, we got everything out of him. Have you tested the other crime scene? The one with the car? Yeah, that's that's where we just were with her. I mean, we could open up the court records and, and 
and C. Because that was the first bit of blood that we found. And there's nothing anywhere else. I mean, we could test over here. Oh, what? Boo, you're a saint! This blood must be from where Lana... No, my sister isn't the murderer. But she did call you, didn't she? At the time of the crime. And her right hand is bandaged. Hey! Just whose side are you on? This has nothing to do with taking sides. Look at the chest. So, this means that Lana's hand had blood on it. This just keeps getting worse. Okay. There's nothing really significant about that. And no other blood showing up, so... All right, we found that. We know that he was found in that trunk. But I don't even think that did anything for us. This is that. We have blood there and blood there. But what the hell else? Like... Can I present that to her since we uh, found more gnome? She's just gonna say the same thing! God damn it! Okay, um. But freaking, you know what? I'm just gonna spray all over his room. Could you imagine if we find blood in his room? They're all over the pillow, the, the couch. The flowing? Or the flower? But yeah, we... Glowing, also the chest. Yeah, no, this is just gonna say the same thing it did the last time. She's gonna talk about how the, uh... The pawn has a spiky head and all the uh, things around it have edges. So that's that's the same exact thing she said the last time. But um the K The K He won such a prestigious award, why would he just leave it on the couch? Yeah, you'd think he'd want to show this thing off more than the giant steel samurai. Then again, Edgeworth has always been like that. Really? Hey, should I write this down? Tell, tell me what he was like when he was little. Back in elementary school, he won awards for all kinds of things. Speech contest, essays, playing the flute, golf tournaments. Spray it! You want, okay, I'll spray it, okay. <laughs> that doesn't exactly sound like typical elementary school stuff. Shut up, car! But he always hated receiving awards. It, he'd make some smart remark like, I know the path I've walked. No one else needs to tell me. That's how he's always been. It kind of gets under your skin, doesn't it? I don't know why that would get under your skin. I mean, he's right. He he doesn't need awards for you to tell him he did a good job. Let's spray the K. Nothing. It's squeaky clean. 
But then again, it's Edgeworth. If, if, if he used it in any kind of murder, you know that boy would clean that. But anyway. I mean, I guess we could examine the rest of the place, but... She's saying the same exact thing that she did the last time. Talking about Miss Olbag. Then it's gonna be the teacups. I mean, he did come in at the last time after we did look at all his stuff, so... But it's all exactly the same. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, this, this, this game. I'm, I'm gonna forever. God damn it, I pressed one too many times. Um. This, this case, this case bothers me so much. I hate you, woman. Just, it's gotta be something. Uh, what does the billing take board? Uh, the usual wanted posters are hanging up on the bulletin board here. Do you know? Oh, god damn it. And it's the same exact thing. Let's just get all of this out of the way. I, I'm at... I, I'm pretty much at my wit's end here. He ain't gonna help us because we ain't got no more food for him. And every time we show him something, uh, it's it's the same old bullshit. He's no help whatsoever. Maybe we could spray him. Hold on. Because didn't they say the if if he if they moved his body, loots active. What are uh, what are loots? I'm not entirely sure. I'm still really new to this. I I started streaming um not too long ago, and. Uh, I still don't know how everything works with like chat or stuff on screen. I'm um, still. Can I send a link? Yeah, go ahead. You can send a link, and uh, we'll check it out. Uh, Jen, can you check out the the link she'll send, and see if it'd be something cool that we could do. But yeah, no, this. Oh God. Loots.com. Alright, we'll check it out. And, uh... If anything, we'll add it to, um... To our thing here. Uh... Da -da 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 -da. Let's see about this. I know I sprayed the hell out of this room, so... Maybe there's another... Print that we missed. There has to be something. If not, I'm just going to have to look it up to see how we can move along. On Discord, is it saying world famous sponsored messages for live streamers? On Twitch, Mix uh, Mixer, Smashcast, and YouTube Gaming, 100% free. Join today. Uh, is that, is that what you're talking about on the, uh, the link that you said? I'm not entirely sure I understand. I do apologize, though. Oh, come on. Alright, uh, we'll do this in real time and see about... Getting us past this because this is uh yeah, this is starting to get tedious. 
This is definitely something we can do. What is it, baby? Spoiler free guide! Thank God! I don't want nothing spoiled, but. Definitely. Something I need. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. testimony The ha. Like the gum shoe too, this will eventually get you to evidence locker. Okay. Closer. And control, look right, examine the flat hanging on the left land locker. There we go, okay. And it is. Okay. Alright, there's no spoilers in that, so that's good to keep. Okay. Oh, god damn it, I wanted to present that. Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car. You should be able to talk to Edge Boo. It's just. Yeah, that's what it's saying. It should be able to talk to Edge. I, I got all the way here. Gum Shoe, this will eventually. Evidence card and present Gum Shoe with a switchblade die for Goodman's vote. Da 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 da. Right, once done, use the limit of fluid. Spray area behind the yellow tape. For current. Okay. Oh, god damn it. I should be able to talk to him. I'm not entirely sure why I can't. If he's there, yeah, he, he's not here. What is it that we missed? There has to be something that we missed. This is the <laughs> Hold on one sec. There definitely has to be something that we missed somewhere. But we got everything to get into the um the office. Huh. The police station, the police department, criminal affairs department. Now, Garrett is here. Talk to him about everything. Still in the criminal affairs department. Examine the chief of detectives. Yeah, we did that. Speak with Gant again about permission to get the ID card. We got that. We got everything. Now it's time to go back to the security office. Back in the underground office, examine the evidence room. We did that. And, uh, Jesus. Present Goodman's ID to Marshall. From this interaction, you'll get the ID record evidence. That's what we got. That's what we got here. So, where the hell is, now you can get into the evidence room, so head there, Gumshoe is there, and gives you the evidence room floor plans. Talk to Gumshoe too, this will eventually get 
Either the evidence locker in the court record present Gumshoe with either the switchblade knife or Goodman's note in order to talk with him. Once you've done that, present Gumshoe with the ID card record. <laughs> when you have control, look right and examine the flap hanging out of the gloves. Broken pieces. Once that's done, use the luminal fl tested fluid. Spray the area behind the yellow tape, the bloody handprint, and a suspicious locker you examined earlier. Go to Edgeworth's office in the High Prosecutor's office. Speak to Edgeworth in full. Then present the ID card record to Edgeworth. This will get you the screwdriver evidence. Okay, I don't know. I don't want to read past that. But we have done everything. Where the hell is Edgeworth? Do you you don't think my game glitched, did you? Let's go back one more time to the uh the police department and back into that damn Oh god damn it. I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry that this is getting all wonky, but this is really starting to uh, tweak me a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's go back here and move back here. I, I really hope my game didn't glitch. Like, we've talked to him about everything. And we've examined everything. At least I believe we did. We talked about all that. We talked about all this. There is just... There is nothing we could do. You should be able to talk to Edge. Yeah. I, I really hope my game didn't glitch because that would suck. And we, we would play something else tonight because, oh my god. <sighs> okay. Is there anything else that we could present to him? Did you present the Goodman's card to Marshall? Yeah, I, I've had to. See, this this is the victim's ID card. Ah, the one that was in the ground of the parking lot. Yeah, I gave this one to him. And that's when he gave me the, uh... The, uh, the list of IDs. Yeah, that's when he gave me this thing. And then we we showed it to um not this jackass but we showed we showed it to uh crazy girl nobody knows I'm here funny shit what's up crazy welcome to the stream but uh yeah that's that's how we got that record and then we showed the record over to um over to, uh, what's his face? Miles Edgeworth. That's how we got Edgeworth there. And this guy doesn't even want to look at anything I want to show him. Been here for a minute, but can't stay long. That's cool, man. Thank you for showing up, boss. Uh, I'm... It... You seen me super confused. Because I need to sleep for work. It blows, but you know what? It pays the bills, man. It lets you do all the things you need to do. <laughs> Is he gonna say the same shit here? Yeah, he says the same shit here. Oh, I'm so confused. <sighs> I worked at uh, until like 10.30 p.m. Then I got a open after closing bullshit. Oh, that sucks, dude. Hopefully you might be able to find one, you know, better. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll show him... 
I'll present this to him one more time because it it tells me to go to Edgeworth after I present this to him. Gotta be up at 7 a.m. Oh, dude. I don't know what side of the place you live on, but it's 10.13 p.m. here, so... Alright. Now, now he notices that Edgeworth's uh, number is on here. So... I'm supposed to go to Edgeworth after he notices that. So... Let's go to the guard station. Let's go back out here. Let's go there. A high prosecutor. And uh, nothing. No Edgeworth. No fucking Edgeworth. Like. God damn game. <laughs> Let me see if there's any. Like known glitches or whatnot, because this this is big thing on my goddamn stream. Phoenix Wright, I trusted you. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Okay, let's see. Gumshoe's supposed to leave first. Gumshoe ain't leaving. Edwards ain't showing. And there's supposedly a glitch. Um, I'm having a problem case. In the testimony, Angel Star said, yeah, 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 yeah. Case. Did he press the statement before pressing the plan? No, hold on. All right, this person needs help for the case five. See the poor person. I have got them. Testimony. Uh, it's a testimony glitch with Angel Star. Possible glitch. Red evidence. Apprehend. Oh, no. We got past that part. Mer HD bugs. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, um... Wow. My two no emotes. Dude. Dude, those emotes are sick. Okay. You know what? Let's see, let's see. Let's do this, okay? One moment, guys. I'm sorry to hold you up, but this, at uh, this, this is bullshit. Boo, 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 boo. Do, do, do. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Okay. Alright, thank you for stopping by, Dragon. It's awesome that you came out this way. Mm. Oh, God. 
Baby, this case is bothering me so much. <laughs> I told you, I told you I hate this case. Uh, okay. But anyway. Yeah, I've seen a couple of your, uh, your streams so far. Plus, uh, Libby forced me to the first stream I've seen of yours because she wanted me to, uh, see what, uh, what you do when you give her the, when she gives you the bits. Uh, dude, that's funny as shit. Not even gonna lie. Like, that is, that's some eighth grade, a like grade A professional shit you do there with the old biddies. <laughs> Oh, uh, thanks, man. You're freaking awesome. But I'm having so much trouble. Alright, we have to get back to, uh, Gumshoe. Oh, da -da. Police department. Yo, dude, pe people, uh, definitely do love it. And just to see her laugh her ass off when you were doing it was great. <laughs> Alright. There has to be... Hey, that's, that's the King of Prosecutors Award Mr. Edgeworth got the other day. Were you at the award center, Money Gumshoe? Of course, pal. Ah, I got an award for. D I I already say, seen this. Oh God. We've seen that one. We don't. Let's talk to. This is my crowning achievement, my masterpiece, you might say. But art is always misunderstood, pal. Art. He was dancing proudly on the day of the award ceremony, but there was a lot of people coming and going after the ceremony. So they took the blue badger away for a while. Really? Why? Oh, they said it was shameful or something like that. Shameful! I told it night and day. I sympathize, sympathize, sympathize! God damn it, Jay! Talk! With Detective Gumshoe, but I could see why they moved it. Okay. I'm gonna say he's not gonna. Blah. Okay, he does that. But he's supposed. You said he's supposed to leave. And that's the photo Miss Star took. Anything can you tell us about? And Miss Star is quite the lady. Well, I remember it was winter. I was 16. What? She was the only one who ever got me to talk about what happened. 16. That's how old I am now. I wonder what happened. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe wore a trench coat in high school, too. Okay. Allow me to say one thing, speaking as a detective. Fine. You bet it's fine, pal. It's the switchblade. Uh, it does exactly what the other note did. Maybe there are some loose ends left in that case. I know he liked that. Oh. Uh, I know he wanted a bottle of that. Yeah. This is the only thing that gets him pissed off. And it changes the music, but he doesn't leave. There's a second number, it's Mr. Edgeworth's. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. You have said it multiple times, sir. So he doesn't want anything to do with that. You can't open it without a fingerprint. Yeah, that that gets shown. He doesn't want nothing to do with that. And he doesn't want anything to do with that. Okay, what about this knife? Okay, I didn't mean, I mean, sure, of course. Okay, that knife, this knife. 
that's gonna do the same thing. I'll be out of work at 3 p.m. tomorrow. You're streaming tomorrow? Uh, not tomorrow. I won't be uh, streaming till Tuesday again. So, uh, and I'm not exactly sure what I'll be streaming Tuesday. I want to try to get done with this case if I could get past this part. But everything that we've found online so far is telling me the game might be bugged. But he does that with this knife, this knife. Let's show this, found that. Yeah, it's it's the stuff. Like, why is that happening with the stuff? I mean Jesus. Let me try to save here. And let's try to reload it and see if anything different happens. Now that was a bloody violent case. How many times did we check? Let's see if I talked to them. And there was never a fourth... There was never a fourth option. The game hates me. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure the game hates me. Pretty fucking chair. Ugh, violent, so it was a murder. Hey there, I'll probably see you Tuesday, guy. Alright, man, you go get your rest, dude. Thank you for stopping by again. Uh... Sorry it wasn't anything exciting, and we're trying to get past this, but, uh, hopefully next time you, uh, you stop in, uh, it, it, it'd be a bit better. <laughs> but, uh, again, thank you for stopping by, man. I hope I have a good stream, too. <laughs> have a good night. Uh... Uh, maybe we'll throw you some bits the uh, next time you stream just so we could uh, get hit on <laughs> Violent so it was a murder a serial killing a Serial killing maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all But the killer shut up car <laughs> No bits or stab a fuck you <laughs> but the killer made a mistake and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him and this was two years ago but that put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill rumors about forged evidence it was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transferal the other day it was the last job he ever did Detective Goodman that is uh, what do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? <clears throat> so, so that switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself. Hey pal, look at the time. There he goes. Was there something you needed to go to be going to? It's just that Mr. Edwards' inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm going to go give them my report for the day. It might help, you know. Re report? You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems. Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he could use a report like this. That's pretty true. This whole case has had Edgeworth on on the like tip of his seat. I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you've got friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off, pal. Later. Thank God. Okay. I should probably see what Edgeworth has to say too. All right, now we could go and get to Edgeworth. About damn time, because. God damn it. 
<laughs> Just out of the way, ho! Okay. Now we're on to something new! Thank God! February 23rd, High Prosecutor's Office Room, 1202. Oh, fucking hell, why is it him? Uh, guest, my apologies. Uh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, uh, I beg your leave so long. Is Edgeworth here? Uh, standing by the window, a, a teacup in his hand. Oh, he looks pissed. Right? Here's the hotel bring him tea service? Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry. I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Ah, uh, yes. He brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Uh, the real info is on the other side, Edgeworth. But poor Edgeworth. Uh, I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. Okay. Let's talk to Mr. Edgy. Inquiry committee. Ow. So, how'd the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there are some people who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still proceeding, prosecuting attorney, however. Something happened? They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department? Yes. Any further investigation for this case will be directed by the Chief of Police, Gant. I can do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, I ask you, why? All along, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still... Well, I've never seen him this out of sorts. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to un present some shit to him. Oh, fuck, no, not that. I'll pass on the T. Yeah, maybe. Boom. Oh, right. I'd better check this now. As I was saying, I... What's this? A record of ID card usage. Edgeworth, you went to the evidence room the day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Why, why Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go by Chief Gant, no less. The Chief of Police? He wanted evidence from a case that wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. The AI-16? The screwdriver. But it was solved, right? It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbing, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. 
It really has nothing to do with the current case. Now I'm curious about this other case. Uh, I'd better make a note of it. Evidence from a past case of Edgeworth's brought back to his office by Gant's request. Stubborn as always, I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. It may not have nothing to do with the current case, but... <clears throat> Who knows? Uh, if Gant is the one sending him... Like, Gant is super shady to me. And I bet you somehow this is all gonna link up together and do something retarded. The tag says AI-16. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing, apparently. At least that's what Edgeworth said. Hmm. That makes it seem all the more suspicious. Who knows, this might turn out to be the clue that breaks the case. Wouldn't it be nice? I mean, it would be nice, you know. But what the hell... Why bring it to his office? But other than that, like, I don't, I don't understand. Um, I don't know where to go from here, but apparently it's something. All right, please, I'm the prosecutor on this case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not exactly sure what to show you anyway. Again, uh, this case has like killed all sorts of willpower and oh, I hate it so much. I want to find, I want to find the last piece to this. That's what I want to find. I'm not entirely sure we will, but can I show that to him? I'm guessing not. Bastard. <laughs> okay. Um, doing the best at the moment puts you in the best place for the next moment. Oprah! Blade. Uh, this blade. I know you've probably got a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do with that case you were on, the SL9 incident. And some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. He must be talking about his father's murder in the elevator. Thank you, baby. Okay, Edgeworth, why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Please, please talk to me. The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time. Damon Gant. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago, too, then? He was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? What I want to know is, why was Deputy Chief of Police on the investigation? And if he was on part of the in forget in God damn words are hard! But if he was part of the investigation, okay, and everybody else either got let go or demoted, why was he bumped up to chief of police? In truth, I use slightly more extreme methods than normal. <clears throat> we were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict, and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't... Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, 
I do have a code and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. M my sister, what? If you were still studying forensic science. Huh? Y yes, of course. Well, just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this. Luminol testing fluid, hmm? Well then, you might have use for this. Oh, we get to do something else now. Uh, aluminium powder for taking fingerprints? It's been chemically treated for a better adhesion. But for me, are you sure we are the enemy, you know? I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. Uh, uh, thanks. How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? Fingerprinting set and fingerprint file received. Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. Yeah, me too. Back to the evidence room we go. Woohoo! Uh, police department entrance. Guard station. Evidence room. February 23rd. Evidence room, sector 3. Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Right there. Here, in this blood on the detective's evidence locker. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. Oh, okay, let's let's do it. Oh, Alright, well, let's get started first. Choose a finger. Finger each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that will have left behind the clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Quit procrastinating and choose a finger! God damn, woman! Uh, this one. Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First, we sprinkle the aluminium powder around. Huh? How do you do that with the X button. Oh, uh, that's how they do it in real life. The X button. Ah, uh, it looks like that did the trick. The aluminium powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. Uh-huh. How do I do that? With the triangle button, silly. Why are you puckering your lips? Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake, see? Wow, that looks like fun. It might take some getting used to, though. It's fine. It won't go up your nose or anything. J you just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Right? I guess I'd better give it a shy. Ah, look at that. Yeah, woohoo! Let's use the whole damn bottle on one print. Ah, you did it! You found one! But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm, now that you mention it, uh, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Hey, calm down. That's just the that's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem like a shame. While we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Uh, other prints. Looking at the locker door again closely. Oh, uh, yeah. It seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. 
Let's see if we could find a print. Mm, fingers outside the plug. Right about there. And let's tap some shit all over it. Oh, uh, Scarface would be proud. And boom! We got our print. <sighs> Wait, what? Oh, no! Damn it, we got a print. Okay, I think I'd like to try one of the other fingerprints. Okay, let's move. But that was a print! Damn it! Maybe I didn't. I just fell out the goddamn screen. Uh. Hey, 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 we're getting. We're, we're getting. Why? I don't know why it didn't prompt me to get that damn print. It looked like a fucking print to me. Okay. Do I keep blowing? Like, what? What? What is it I do? Do, do I do this again? Like, Jesus. There, there. Thank you. Cool. I mean, it looked like a print. The other times I did it. Hmm. Fucking girl. Anyway, yay! A print. So clear. It's dazzling. Dazzling. Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Oh. It didn't you were in an equipment? Mm -hmm. Let's match it up right away. So we're not done yet. This is quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? It's, it's gonna be Phoenix. I'm, I'm just thought I, everybody's being accused. Why not Phoenix? I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth and point out the person you think left this print. Uh, how am I supposed to know who it was? I, I could make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprint are in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So whose fingerprints would uh, whose fingerprints would we most likely find on the evidence locker? Um, Dick Gumshoe. That's it's about right. But anyway, anyway. Woohoo! Aha! Uh -huh. So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. But we have another blood, bloody handprint somewhere else. Let's go check that. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess that's probably because I was thinking, so what? Okay, so we came up with nothing this time. But there's always next time. Sometimes you hit something you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait. If I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. Ah! I kind of forgot where it was, but... We got this stuff! There it is! Yeah. No! No! Give me! It won't, it won't let me, it won't let me. Right there. There, there we go. This is where we got the luminal fluid reaction, right? Right, there was a handprint here. Okay, wanna try using this? There go her eyes sparkling again. Let's check for Brits. Let's see what bastard killed somebody. Uh, okay, now let's check for Prince. That's the spirit. Oh, but I have to warn you about something first. 
what? The area with the blood was wrapped uh, wrapped around, right? Away, right? Wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it because chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, alright. So that means no prints. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? D don't ask me. Uh, anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Well, let's, let's do it. I mean... Well... Okay. Oh. Alrighty. Let's see if we uh, can actually get something. And uh, welcome to anybody who just joined. Uh, shut up, car! Trying to welcome people. But anyway. <laughs> We're playing Phoenix, right? Uh, Ace Attorney Trilogy HD on the PS4. I don't know if you can see that, but... We're looking for... Fingerprints. Hi, Mary. How you doing, sweetie? But yeah, we're uh, I'm completely, utterly stumped because this case hates me. This case hates me a lot. And again, it's not letting me. So I'm just gonna fill up the whole damn screen again, like I did. With the last set of prints, because this this shit is stupid. You're, well, I'm glad you're alive. I mean, I I don't think I want it any other kind of way. Oh, come on, come on, come on. But yeah, the prints. Oh, there we go. Now, uh, no, it's not his. But it might be his. That, that kind of looks about right. Do you think it could be Jake Marshall? I mean, he is kind of fucking weird. Hey, these fingerprints, they... Whose are they? Who? Whose is it? Someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Officer Jake Marshall? Marshall's fingerprints found in a bloody handprint left in the evidence room. The print had been wiped. Th that's that's got to be a oh, coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Uh, Emma, this is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's print. The luminal reaction, the blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh, so we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints in a, a wrapped, a wiped blood stain. So he's trying to get away with something. But why would Officer Marshall? It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. I. I don't believe it. She's so sad. Oh, we're going to court now. We're going to court almost two hours into the goddamn stream. Oh, God, that... That was just painful. Not even gonna lie. We'll save over the top one. What is she, a fanco of Mar... No, not, not so much Marshall. She really likes Edgeworth, though. So, yeah... We're gonna find out what this whole court thing has to do. But, Jesus! This, this case is, this, this case has hurt my feelings, honestly. It's, it's been, it's been something. It has been something. <laughs> but, uh, I will be right back. I'm gonna, okay, I gotta go use the facilities. So, I'll see you in a minute.
Hello, hello. I do apologize for that. Marsha used to work with her sister. That's true, but he was also one of the ones that is, uh, that was promoted, uh, demoted. Ugh. So what do you think, Mr. Wright? I think the prosecution is as confused as we are. After all, the victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. Which is damn right confusing. And a different suspect was arrested at each of the crime scenes. Lana! Good morning, Mr. Wright. I apologize for yesterday. I was indisposed. I hope they didn't hold you too long for questioning. We just finished, actually. I'm used to all-nighters, though. So, how'd it go? It's as Mr. Wright suspects. The police are clueless. I figured as much, so I struck a plea bargain. A plea bargain? What do you mean by that? We agreed that if I told them the truth behind this simultaneous murder, they wouldn't seek capital punishment. That's what I mean, Emma. But Lana, don't tell me you... Much to my regret, I'm as much in the dark about this as they are. Miss Skye, hmm... We found trace evidence of a certain person in the police department's evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. What kind of trace evidence? Bloodstained fingerprints, to be exact. That's the trump card I have up my sleeve today. You do understand what this means, don't you? In order to defend my sister, we're going to accuse Mr. Marshall. We have to play the cards we're dealt. Isn't that right, Miss Sky? Do what you have to do, Mr. Wright. I, this whole case confuses the shit out of me. Like, even thinking about it when I'm not playing, trying to put pieces together in my own damn head, uh, it, it has not gone well for me. But hey, we're back in court, and it's about to get even more confusing. I'm pretty fucking sure. So, uh, I'm glad whoever's still here is along for the ride. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is... Hmm. Hmm? I'm afraid you'll have to clarify. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach the police department from the prosecutor's office. Yet the victim Bruce Goodman was slain at both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? We're gonna find out! <laughs> What's more, I hear the victim from the evidence room has dis just disappeared. Yes, and the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Edwards' car. Ah, uh, this is one messed up trial. One of my duties as prosecutor is to present impartial evidence. Today I will present evidence relating to the murder at the police department. In so doing, I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Now that's what sets Mr. Edgeworth apart. He sounds so on top of things. Even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. And that's supposed to be admirable trait. I guess so. Oh, damn. Well, very well, let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Edgeworth, you may call your first witness of the day to the stand. For its first witness, the prosecution calls the suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. The sus- you mean the so-called murderer? Woohoo! Oh boy. 
Things are getting wild. Here we go, people. Oh, this fucker. Will the witness please state his name and the occupation? Y yes, sir. I I'm Officer Mike Meekin, sir. My occupation is um, uh, that that would be murderer, sir. Uh, 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 uh. So you're telling us you're a professional killer, uh, uh, sir? It, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it. Uh, I'll never kill anyone again, sir. You've got to believe me, sir. Uh, actually, we'd like, sir. I'm I'm what you would call part of the younger generation, sir. A person whose actions adults can't possibly comprehend. Please, Mr. Edwards, sir. Help me, sir. Officer Meekins. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Give us your report of the crime. Consider that in order. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, as you wish, sir. After all, I am part of a generation that must be told what to do, sir. You can't fault him for lack of enthusiasm. If this voice sticks, I'm fucked for the rest of my life. Crime report, sir. Uh, although I'm not my normal duty, uh, I was assigned to the guard, the evidence room that day. Uh, I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and I rushed into the room. Oh, I would fucking shoot him too, believe me. I, I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. And I was suddenly attacked. I, I fought for my life, and I, I did it. After all that, I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. Oh, <sighs> hmm. So the victim, Detective Goodman, attacked you. Uh, do what told to others before they do a to you. Uh, it's the Meekin family motto, sir. I see. Then you fainted and a colleague helped you regain consciousness. Uh, uh, yes, sir. He knocked me upside the head, sir. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. What I need here is more info to work with. Yeah? Oh, can I report, sir? You are weak, Meekins. <laughs> yeah, he is. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Y yes, sir. I am in charge of hiring new recruits, sir. Why? Why? Yikes, now there's a scary thought. Evidence transfer was taking place on the day of the crime. Which meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily performed. I was in charge of guarding the Blue Badger, sir. The Blue Badger? Yes, sir. The lovely police mascot created by the chief of detectives, sir. Oh. Uh, I was to ensure it wasn't broken during the transfer process. Uh, that was my sole mission for the day, sir. <coughs> oh, God. I see. It sounds like a very uh, important mission. Burn it! Right? Well, that thing would give nightmares. A after the award ceremony finished that day, there were so many people running around that I relocated the Blue Badger to the evidence room. Oh, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us, what did you see when you got there? I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen, and I rushed into the room. In order to enter the evidence room, you need an ID card, am I correct? 
Precisely, sir. I have one right here around my neck. So then, your ID number should be listed on here, right? I think that's the first time. Ah, it is, sir. I found it. This is the one right here. Could you please read this number? Yes, sir. It's 49895.96. That's my number, sir. I see, huh? But the number 49895.96 is shown as being used twice. Please explain, witness. It's not, not no real mystery, sir. Uh, first time is when I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. And the second time is when I went to go get him after everything settled down. I see. So it was during that second time when... Yes, sir. That is when I spotted the man on the security screen. Oh, IDs of all who entered the evidence room on 221. Data added to the ID court record. <clears throat> I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. Oh, so you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir. A knife. I wish they would have fucking got him. Detective Goodwin pulled a knife on you. What happened then? Oh, well, with me charging in on him like that, he looked as surprised as I was. You aren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. <laughs> That's for damn sure, Phoenix. That's what I reacted, sir. I swung my arms like an octopus struggling to detain him. That's how I got this gash on my hand. Maybe if you'd kept your cool, your hand wouldn't be. Oh, when I saw the blood trickling down my arm, I panicked. I grabbed the man by his collar. I, I fought for my life, then I, I did it. Okay. Ugh. What exactly do you mean when you say you did it? I know I don't look the type, but I'm really into kung fu films, sir. The man let his guard down for just an instant, so I snatched his knife from him. You took his knife? I spun him around and performed the disarming maneuver. Oh, I made sure to close my eyes like a man. <laughs> okay. I see. He must have been desperate. The next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in a sea of my blood, and then... Then the next thing I knew... Yes? He punched me right in my face, sir! <laughs> I was I gonna fucking punch him in the face? After that, I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. But what time did you regain consciousness? Uh, no offense, sir, but how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious. Oh, uh, right. According to the report from the officer that woke up the witness, it was about 5.30. He hit me right in the head, too. I woke up crying tears of pain. That's not, uh, I mean, it's nice that you recovered, th that is. When I came around, though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir, the blue badger, sir. I returned him to the entrance before gangs got out of hand. Well, we could all rest easy now. Uh, I believe we now have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Yes, Your Honor. Only one thing remains unclear. 
Was the man this officer murdered really the victim? He's got a point. It went from blue to red real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> He's got a point. Um. Yes, Officer Meekins. With regard to that, sir. Take a look at this. It was sent to my jail cell. Chief Grant delivered it ju to just ah, Fuck it. Words did not work and that voice hurts so much. <laughs> the chief delivered it. What is it? Uh, videotape? Yes, sir. That's absolutely right, sir. Videotape, sir. It contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room. Objection. What? But I specifically asked if there was such a tape. And was told it had been mistakenly erased. Someone is fucking with Edgeworth. That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. It's the only thing I'm really good at. Looks like communication with the police department is as good as ever. Well then, let's have a look. Show us the video of you murdering the victim. Oh god, it wasn't him. Oh. Please stop using the word murder, sir. It scares me. <laughs> a video of a real murder. Just what are we getting ourselves into? Ooh. Okay, there's the blue badger. Why is it on? Please remove that damn microphone away from him. Yo, your sister agrees with you. Okay. Why is the camera so close to all the hood lockers? Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Oh fuck! Meekins, no! Let me get him! End him! <laughs> that showed us nothing! And why can't the whole game look like this? I mean, Jesus. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? What the hell was that wiggling piece of plywood? Sir? And that is the pride and joy of the entire criminal affairs department, sir. It's the blue badger, sir. Why am I not surprised this isn't going smoothly? That boy is sweating. Like... <laughs> something missing. It's something is missing. Oh. <sighs> yes, well, anyway. This tape seems to prove that the witness did, indeed, encounter, uh, someone. In the evidence room and some sort of, uh, activity... Your Honor, instead of relying on clearly incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Is that alright with you, Officer Meekins? Uh, yes, sir, as you wish, sir. Oh, mystery man. Edgeworth's face is terrifying when upset. He is. He, he's an upset boy. Like, this whole case has hurt Edgeworth's feelings. Not gonna lie. Like, Edge needs a vacation after this shit. He, he had to two months prior. He just got off his own murder case. And now this bullshit's going on. And this murder took place in two different spots where the same guy was murdered at the, exactly the same time. But his body ended up in Edgeworth's car. He needs a break. <laughs> uh, his face can't be clearly seen in the video. 
But there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprints to do. The rocker, the locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Gumsh, good, good men's locker, sir. Not Gumshoe, Gumshoe's a good guy. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. Ugh. <laughs> What's this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with a fingerprint activated lock. These locks ensure that each locker can only be opened by the detective it belongs to. Intriguing. That would mean the victim at the crime scene would have to have been Detective Goodman. Well, Goodman did open up his own locker. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I, I don't want to talk to that guy anymore. I don't know where this cross-examination will lead. But everything begins with contradictions. That's where I have to start. Ugh, when is the ghost of Maya coming? She always saves our ass. Mr. Avan. His face can't be clearly seen in the video. Tell me, were you able to get a good look at him? At the face of the man who attacked you with a knife. Sir, if you must label people as having seen or not seen the man's face, I believe I would be classified as the latter. Ladder, but you were standing right in front of him, were you not? More to the point, you are the person who fought him, aren't you? Oh uh, yes, sir, but I didn't get a clear look at his face, sir. I'm not the kind of guy who looks directly at people when talking with them, you see? Yeah, that's a good trait for a police officer. I mean, they make it seem like they weren't allowed. I, I wouldn't say that they weren't allowed, that they are the only ones that can open their specific locker. But, he's never seen him before, that's why he went into the room. Sir, I'm sure it was still him. I bet my badge on it. Oh no. Well, there's no one question that uh, the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. But you don't know that for sure, do you? You never actually saw Detective Goodman's face. Well, I suppose you might say that. That is. If you must label people as having seen or not seen it. Since his face can't be identified in the video, only you can verify it. Uh, why is everyone looking at me? If I had to label your stares as disturbing or... Megan's! Ah! Having been shown a questionable video at best, we are not in the best of moods. Now please be more certain with your testify, when you testify. Yes, sir. You claim the man who brandished a knife on you was Bruce Goodman. Tell us why you were positive, positive it was him. I mean, he opened up the locker, which required Detective Goodman's fingerprints to do. Oh, what's up, bro? Bro, take his badge anyways. Like, they should take his badge. They should take him, throw him in the fucking volcano or something. That boy should not be alive. Or born, for that matter. It's his parents' fault. About these lockers, is there no other way to open them? No, sir. I myself tried all the kinds of methods in the past. Why? We don't... Fucking trust your dumbass. They only respond to registered fingerprints, sir. I wonder what kind of methods he's tried. Probably tried to stare it open. <laughs> also, dude, thanks for showing up, man. Thank you for coming out to the uh, stream. If the man opened the locker's lock, which only responds to its registered fingerprints, 
Then he must be the person the locker was assigned to. Exactly my point, sir. And this too. Okay, but what if the assigned fingerprint was changed at some point? I wanted to go into law enforcement, but Meekins makes me want to be a murderer. <laughs> Why is he trying to open them? He's shady. He's shady as shit. He's just dumb. Like, shut up, car. <laughs> He's just freaking stupid, pretty much. That would explain the gloves. I mean, what do you mean by the gloves, uh, Jen? Do you think I'd somehow it had, like, Goodman's fingerprints on it or something? But anyway. And how would he open it up with a pair of gloves on anyway? The locker is open and unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. Uh, press it. How do you know that information? I've heard rumors, sir, from people who know, sir. Pull them inside out, and you have the print. Uh, maybe. I mean, it, it was like a rubber type of glove. So maybe the print's there. People in the know. The workers in the department cafeteria, sir, they keep me informed. And they also listen to my romantic troubles, sir. I, I'm pretty sure you don't have romantic troubles because I'm pretty sure nobody wants to be romantic with you. For the record, the open locker did indeed belong to Detective Goodman. I verified this information through a more reliable source. Hmm. So the victim opened the locker with his own fingerprint. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. However, the most important detail is not shown in this video. The man's face. Sir, if I may say something, sir. Please do. After all, you are the one being examined. I don't understand why the man's face is so important in this case, sir. I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint lock. And if it was his hand that tried to thrust his knife into my body, sir. Am I unsettled state can testify enough to this, sir? Yes, you have a point. The footage doesn't lie. That is, unless the defense can find a problem with it. His brain, his brain, he, yeah. Electric, electric shock therapy would do him wonders. For damn sure. Mr. Wright, let's check the court record again. Is there a problem with the security video? Yeah, yeah, there's a problem. There has to be a damn problem because you're telling me there's a damn problem because you want me to check it, game. And why do you hate me? It really fucking hates me. Regarding the video contained in this tape, there is one thing in particular that seems rather strange. Strange? This contradiction leads to the possibility that the man may not have been Detective Goodman. What? This video contains such a contradiction? Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I propose we have the defense point out to us this alleged contradiction in the video. It's going to have me do something new, which we all know at this point, me trying new things leads to disaster. So let's do it. <laughs> he would want me to point it out. Very well. <laughs> Proposal accepted. Let us further inspect this piece of evidence. I will now play the security tape. Mr. Wright, please show us this contradiction you speak of. 
I have to point out a problem in the video. Now, this is the first time I've ever had to do that. Yeah, me too! Me too, Phoenix! I'm with you, buddy! You can do it, Mr. Wright! It's set up so you can fast forward, rewind, or pause the video. Just take a look, just take a good look and be sure to point out the right thing. P please don't play it too many times. I, I can't stand watching this video. How did this guy ever become a police officer? You know, that does bring up a good point. What kind of motherfuckers are hiring people like him to protect us? There, there's no, no, there's no. He should have been working behind, like, the in, in the lunch place. With the people that are in the know. Now then, Mr. Wright, please enlighten us. Where's the contradiction that indicates the... Oh, go, you didn't finish! Okay, let's fast forward that bitch, because... Oh, now wait, wait! Okay. That's just showing him. Yeah, you see how this fucking shit covers up his face? The glove fell. Fucking idiot. Look, look, you can see the stupid on his face. Ugh. Okay. And right there again, why does it have to cover up his face? Okay, he had his back turned. Look to it. Fucking, he had his back turned towards stupid. Is the detective taller than the other officer? I don't know, this guy looked like he's slunched over. And he tried to slice him with the knife. But then you see him jump on him. And he gets slammed into the locker. There's... Okay, did he get... Is that his blood? Okay. Okay, oh... So, that's the end of the fucking tape. So he comes walking by, he opens it up, and he drops the gloves. Okay. Do, do you... We don't see him leave. That's true. We don't see him leave. The, all this stuff coincides with what Meekin said. But. Where's the. Where's the body after all it's said and done? I mean, and you're right, you, we don't see him leave, and the blood is, the, we found a lot of blood on the floor over there, but,
I don't I don't know what what to present. We could present the blood on his shoulder, but Meekins Meekins was hurt, so that could have been Meekins blood. Like Mary says, we don't see the detective leave. We also don't see anybody else coming into the room. But what the hell do I present? Do I present the fact that the glove fell out and he didn't pick it up? Like, it is his locker after all. Why wouldn't he pick it up? Did he have gloves on? That's what I want to check. Let's go through the tape one more time. And did this boy have gloves on as he was walking by? Can we see that? I don't think he could really make out if that's gloves or not. There's Meekins. We wind it back a bit. Where would you want it me? Where do you want me to rewind it back to? Tell me what part. When he was walking past to when he enters. Look at the further hand. Meekins or or the other guy? through his coat <laughs> all right what are we looking at here I wish we could get that shit off the screen only the assigned detectives prints can unlock it indicator lab huh we can still open this up. Tagged evidence from the SL9 incident. Extremely thin rubber glove. Now... Jen! Why is that there? When we found a glove, was the glove hanging... From uh, the yellow tape, or was it something else? Mm. All right, let's just let it go. Yeah, it was hanging from the tape. So if that glove was hanging from the tape, that means something about he moved it. Uh, hey, yes, hey. What hey? Should I... Sh should we uh, do the whole glove thing? You say hey. Oh, Defiance host. Oh, what's up, Defiance? Host, um, I'm guessing you're Carl. <laughs> um, if you, I wanna, I kinda wanna point out the glove. But I'm not entirely sure. Let's just present it. The thing that's strange about this videotape has got to be this. Hmm, yes, that is strange. Something certainly seems unnatural about that. What could it mean? Well, sorry to interrupt, Mr. Wright. 
But you seem to have forgotten the point of this exercise. The, the point. What are you looking for is one thing and one thing only. Something that indicates the man may not be Detective Goodman. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I almost walked right into the defense's trap. I'll place him under arrest, sir. Right, so I need to slow down and tackle these things one piece at a time. Now, what to do? Oh, uh, there's nothing that shows that he... Right, let's try this again. Just remember one thing, Mr. Wright. Every time you point your finger, someone gets hurt. Says the one pointing his finger at us. Right? I will now play the security tape. Mr. Wright, please show us the contradiction you speak of. Uh, uh, shut up. Wait. Yeah. Sh shut up. You said all this before. Okay. Um... Mary, you wanted me to stop it here when he was coming in, right? What are your options? What do you mean, my options? I could only really move the tape forward. Like, I can't really do much of anything. Hold on. Does that light look like it's on? Already? Before he's even there? Does that mean the locker is open already? If that's the case... Because you can see... All the lockers around him... Around this... Even the lockers over here, they're all off. All the lights are off. That's what it is. Okay. The thing that's strange about this video has got to be this. Officer Meekins, as, do, do you mean me, sir? As I understand it, the locker apparatus works like this. When you grab the handle, a sensor reads your fingerprint if it's a match. The light turns on and the lock is released. A a according to my very limited experience, that's the way I understand it, sir. If so, then something is seriously wrong with this picture. Ugh, because it's open already. Somebody had already opened it. So, that isn't fucking, uh, Goodman. That can't be Goodman. When the victim reaches for the handle to the open locker... Yay, thank you! Let's rewind to a little earlier. <clears throat> it was open. Here, notice the light? What's this? It's already lit. Precisely. My point, Your Honor. The locker was already open before the victim grabbed the handle. Ah! Order, order. What's the meaning of this? It's very simple, Your Honor. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. But the locker locks are controlled by an electronic system. When a door is shut, a sensor is triggered. And the locker is automatically locked. Oh, I know. It must have been broken down. It's already lit. <laughs> of course, I'm not an expert on this. 
That's not likely, Your Honor. The sensor would detect and report any malfunction. Oh, well, it just goes to show novices should keep their mouths shut. So then, Mr. Wright, do you have an explanation? Me, Your Honor. Yes, why wasn't the locker locked? Me, Your Honor? Yes, well, you see, this isn't exactly my field. What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Uh, oh, um... Maybe something like jammed the system's sensor. Something jammed the sensor. The gloves! The gloves fell out! Maybe the gloves were keeping it open. There's something else that seems out of place in this video. It has to be the gloves! I fucking just skipped that. Who cares? She's talking. There's gotta be another clue somewhere in this footage. Very well, let's inspect the video once more. The locker wasn't locked, Mr. Wright. Please point out the cause for this. God. Uh, the cause is easy. The locker's open. What's stopping the lock locker from being locked is right there. It has to be, like... You know, keeping it open. It's kind of like you would have a door jam open that you didn't want to automatically lock. Like when you were skipping, you know, class in school and you wanted to go outside, have a cigarette, smoke some pot with your friends down there by the tracks. Please watch closely. This is the continuation of the part I showed you earlier. I didn't do any of that, I swear. I'm a bad person. <laughs> anyway! <clears throat> Enough about my damn past. What's this? Something white fell out of the locker. But, but sir, it's been my experience that things fall out when doors are open. I often fall out and roll... We can't be sure. That item was completely inside the locker to begin with. What do you mean? The sensor triggers the lock when the door is shut. What if something was inserted, say, between the sensor and the door? I inserted? Yes, inserted! Because he goes over and he opens it up and the gloves automatically fall out. I, I think this is kind of, you know... Bruh. This white thing wasn't inside the locker. It was stuck between the door and the sensor. Uh, oh, I, I understand now, sir. It's just like my tie. Two out of three times it gets stuck in the door when I get out of my patrol vehicle, sir. I, I, instead of the door closing, it just... But the object would have to be extremely thin to fit in the door. Not only that, it would also have to block electrical currents. It would need an, need to be an insulator. Rubber gloves. <laughs> yes, an insulator, but at the crime scene. There just might have been something that fits the description. But, but sir, by insulator you don't have... I think I finally got this figured out. Very well. Will the defense please present the revel relevant evidence? What was the insulator that was stuck in the locker door? The rubber fucking glove! Thank you! I found this near the locker. A thin rubber glove. But we can't be sure that was in the victim's locker. It has a tag that says SL9 incident. The video seems to depict the victim opening the locker. But that isn't the case. The lit lamp attests to this. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. Is this not so, Officer Meekins? Uh, sir! I would appear, sir! Sir! Oh. Order! Order! <laughs> so, are we to believe, then, that the victim whom this witness stabbed in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman. 
Do not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? The defense has merely demonstrated that possibility, and nothing more. The victim in the video was indeed Bruce Goodman. The prosecution will offer one more testimony to prove this. What? Officer Meekins, please testify about this. Sir, me, me, sir? I, I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. Uh. Uh, oh, you mean that, sir? Of, of course, sir. Is this a joke? Very well, begin your testimony. Oh, why? Why, mystery man, do? Uh, there's one other thing that proves the man was Detective Goodman, sir. To enter the evidence room, you must use their ID card. Mr. Edgeworth is very uh, edgy. And by the way, edgy is his nickname. Yeah. Uh, to enter the evidence room, you must use their ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective had used this card. That that doesn't prove shit. It could there could be like a copy of the card or the the card. I mean, could have been stolen. We actually found the card at the other crime scene. An ID card record, I see. I have the ID card record right here, Your Honor. The ID used at 514 is that of the victim. Just before the crime, hmm, yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID card. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. Several hundred cases should have been due to for transferal. Why were there so few people using this room? This particular evidence room is only used for storing certain special cases. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. <laughs> Me too, although it doesn't make much of a difference. There were only a few cases up for transferal there, and most were cleared by the noon. Right, I see. Now, let us move on to the cross-examination. Uh, Mystery Man 2. I, I want to check something first. An investigator's ID card found at the prosecutor's office crime scene. It shows nothing. A name and ID number are written here. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. I wonder why they're only used numbers for IDs. What else would they use? Letter silly. They're... Yeah. Whatever. 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 Okay, but we found this at the other crime scene. And he died around 515. Whatever. We're just gonna press so unlike your earlier testimony, you believe this to be rock solid, do you? A yes, sir. As solid as stone, sir. If my hand wasn't wrapped in bandages, I'd even give the V for victory sign, sir. Didn't he just use his right hand for that? Let's hear him out fully. As we've seen, one never knows what he might say until the very last second. And to, to enter the evidence room, you must use their ID card. Is that card hanging from your neck, one of those ID cards? Y yes, sir. This card right next to my cuff, sir. I keep it here so I won't never forget it. Hey, Jay, don't make him say he had... Didn't make him say 
He had seen the strange man the second time he entered the room. Though they are saying he entered the way before. Yeah, uh, when he was... I believe it was, uh, when he was going to get the, the stupid fucking badger thing. That's when he noticed the dude in the room. That's when he entered there. But what if someone were to steal it from you, keeping it out in the open like that? Uh, or maybe I shouldn't wear it around my neck. Or, or, remember when I said two out of three times my tie gets stuck when I get out of my car? Well, the remaining time it's my ID card that gets stuck. Instead of the door closing, it, uh, maybe I should just leave this one alone. At any rate, each police officer has only one ID card. Both the police department and the prosecutor's office can attest to this. And please proceed with your testimony. But if they have to make a copy, will it be the same ID number? If that's the damn case, then maybe he had a copy of the ID card. Uh, oh, oh, when, a, when an ID card is used, there's a record of it. Let it be noted that this is the record the witness referred to. Uh, let me see. Yes, that would be it. Detective Goodman. What's the matter? Uh, according to this... Mr. Edgeworth, your name is on here. So it is, Your Honor. Not the prosecutor again. Hey, maybe he's behind all this. Being a prosecutor, he could hide the evidence. Mommy, is that man in blue a murderer? Shh, don't stare at him. You've got the wrong color, kid. <laughs> it would seem the inquiry committee will want to speak with you again today. I have nothing to be ashamed of regarding my actions or their consequences. For now, let us continue with the cross-examination. Poor Mr. Edgeworth, it, it must be so difficult for him. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his card. Mm -hmm. Earlier, I believe you testified that when you asked the man to show his ID card, he pulled a knife on you. Yes, yeah, sir, he didn't show me any ID card, sir. Don't you think that's odd? I mean, if he had his ID card, all he had to do was show it to you. There wouldn't be any reason to draw a knife. Uh, maybe he just panicked. Everything stems from contradictions. Let's point them out. Mr. Wright, what do you think? Uh, confused. Ah, uh, me too! Me too, Phoenix! I'm with you, buddy! But seriously, wait, wait, why? What? The problem with his ID card testimony is far too obvious. It's not like Edgeworth to miss something like this. You're thinking too hard about it. Come on, let's show them what we've got. Yeah, a 20 evidence room you must have their ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the card had been used. Should I press this? Like, we have his ID card. Should I... You know what, what we're gonna do first? We're gonna save first, because... Fuck that! I'm not going through all this again. But, should we present... The ID card, because we found this at the first scene of the crime. 30 minutes away from where they're talking about now. How would this card be there and be used at the, the police station's uh, evidence room? Mario Kava, welcome to the stream, man. Meekins has a big mouth. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he has. And he has a, he has a microphone to go along with it, too. He's just a horrible, horrible person. But I'm going to try to press this. 
Wait one moment, Officer Meekins. Uh, I'm not good at waiting, sir. The Meekins is also... Is this blind? What do you mean, blind? Like a blind playthrough? Yeah, pretty much. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> but, uh, Meekins also happens to be, like, the most 80s anime-looking character ever. I have the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the crime scene. Is this your first time playing it? Yeah, this is my first time. This makes sense. That makes sense. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office, which happens to be 30 minutes away. Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. Uh, lost item report. It's only half completed. But it shows that Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to fill out his report. Let me guess, you believe this something to be his ID card, right? I can't say for sure, but there is a high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Order! Order! So, now, what does this all mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't even require much thought. The man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. So, hold on. We, uh, uh just, just, uh, give me a second. I want to talk through some stuff about this, because this case is just like, wow. So, we, on, at the, sign, the, the crime scene, we found the card. Okay, that was the first crime scene at the prosecutor's garage. We found the card there. He was able to get into the building. What if the person that was uh, pretending to be Officer Goodman was Marshall? Because we had just found Marshall's prints in the bloodstain, the hand, the hand, uh, the bloodstained handprint on the one locker. What if that was Marshall? Because he did get into a tussle with Meekins. That would mean that Marshall right now would be injured. I, th I think that's the way this is going to go. I think it was Marshall. Order, order. And does the prosecution have a response? I have only one thing to say to the defense. Bravo, Mr. Wright. Oh, he's being nice to me again. That's scary. I don't like nice Edgeworth. Bravo. Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15 p.m. on the day of the crime, the man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encounters was not Detective Goodman. There are two grounds to support this. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim lost ID card. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. What's he up to? That being the case, we must inevitably, uh, inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murderer in the evidence room is also fake. Oh, the murder in the evidence room. In other words, the security camera does not show the instant of the murder. It don't. Uh, that, that, that is, well, I guess that's right. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Only moments ago, you seemed content to point, to be pointing your finger around. This isn't going to end well. Well, well. It seems you've finally realized exactly what you've gone to such lengths to prove. 
Explain yourself, Edgeworth. <laughs> the defense has already done the explaining for me. The victim in this video is a fake, which means a murder did not take place at the police department at 5.15 on the day of the crime. So, for the real crime could only take place in one location, the underground parking lot. At the prosecutor's office, the murderer being Miss Alana Skye, the defendant. The evidence is compelling. A trustworthy witness observed the moment the defendant used the murder weapon. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, I knew that testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap from the beginning. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Who exactly was the victim Officer Meekins encountered? And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Just so, Your Honor. M Mr. Wright, you have to do something or else Lana... What do I do? How am I supposed to get myself out of this mess? Oh, we have to object. The, the, we have to object. One moment, Your Honor. What now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. Of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. What are you talking about? This cross-examination has proven me... Proven one thing and one thing only. The security video did not show the actual murder. That is very true. The evidence room is for special cases. If Marshall and Meekins fought before, then he may want to remove the evidence. Maybe. That... That, that sounds about right. I mean... However, it cannot be said that it is unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Specifically, large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. The defense demands further examination into the truth of the matter. Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. Is the prosecution prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. We have not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. Oh, we have. This just might be our chance. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the town. Fucking hell. Mr. Wright, do you mean... Your Honor, the defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh, uh, whom do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. The prosecution requests to hear this person's name before deciding whether or not to comply. Very well then, Mr. Wright. This person whom you would have testified, what is his or her name? Bingo! Officer Jake Marshall. Why him? I can't let Edgeworth know everything just yet. He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel we should hear what he has to say. The prosecution agrees to the defense's request. Since he was responsible for guarding the room, he would hear this. We should hear his testimony. Fortunately, he works in the police department. We shouldn't need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Very well. The court will take a 30 minute recess while the witness is... Chaperoned. So whatever. 
I could not read that word. God damn it. I am a failure. Oh, oh well, the prosecution, please prepare the witness during this time. We will, Your Honor. The court is now in recess. Woohoo! February 24th, 11.32 a.m. District Court. Lobby defendant, lobby number two. No, because we're going to be calling it quits on this one, guys, for now. We will continue probably sometime during the week. Uh, because this one actually took up the three hours to do because I was super confused at the beginning of the stream. Ugh, I was more confused than Meekin, so I can't really say that's a good thing or not. But! But! <laughs> we, uh... Why don't we go raid somebody? I actually remembered this damn time. Since I got the raid list up, uh, we could just go pick someone and, uh... Go do its thing. So who's on for me right now? We got Groovy Fox still playing uh, Dead by Daylight, so why don't we go over to him and all that nifty jazz. Pick a live channel to raid. We are raiding. But off the air, pick a live channel. What? He's off the air. Bastard. <laughs> oh, well. Jen, who's on? Help me out with this whole raiding thing. Is it uh, forward slash raid and then put her name in, right? The Cahoon. Yeah, let's go over to her and yeah, I'll say thank you and all that nifty jazz. Hopefully this goes through. Because we all know my internet sucks. Oh, we're going to be raiding it. Yay. But anyway, guys, thanks for uh, showing up to this one. Uh, let's go over to uh, the Cahoon and uh, say thanks. So, uh, yeah, let's go raid.